Item Number SCP-7050 Level 2 Restricted Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Vlam Risk Class Caution Special Containment Procedures Due to the nature of SCP-7050, containment is unfeasible. Knowledge of SCP-7050 is to be limited to a select few international and governmental organizations for the purpose of disarmament. Should there be an SCP-7050-1 instance, all embedded Foundation agents within national space agencies and astronomical associations are to be alerted and directed to prevent knowledge of the event from spreading. Should any organization receive data and imagery of an SCP-7050-1 instance, Foundation agents are to prevent its publication and doctor all relevant data on the event. All events leading up to a York incident are to be recorded and analyzed for the purposes of further preservation of human civilization. Exploration of an SCP-7050-1 instance is to be conducted through the Foundation's Anomalous Aeronautical and Space Research Association, also known internally as OSRA. To date, there have been 11 confirmed SCP-7050-1 instances with a further four exoplanets slated for exploration by OSRA. Description SCP-7050 refers to the continued survival of the human race. In the event that an exoplanet's atmosphere rapidly becomes toxic due to a burst of nuclear energy, it is to be explored via Magellan Drone Swarm to determine if a York incident has occurred. Should the drone swarm determine that a York incident did occur, the exoplanet will be designated as an SCP-7050-1 instance and will be catalogued. As of 2035, all known extraterrestrial civilizations have experienced a York incident and, subsequently, extinction. Addendum 1 First SCP-7050-1 Instances on January 9, 2009, a sudden burst of nuclear energy was detected in the Alpha Centauri Trinary Star System by Foundation Space Observatory Skylax. Further observations subsequently revealed the origin of the nuclear energy burst to have been from Proxima Centauri b. Footnote 1. Proxima Centauri b is an exoplanet orbiting around the star Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf that is part of the triple star system Alpha Centauri that is located 4.2 light-years away. After failing to find a natural explanation for the event, it was given the designation Anomalous Event 13020, and the task of investigating the anomaly was given to OSRA. Shortly after, a request was approved by the O5 Council for OSRA to begin constructing a drone swarm that would conduct an exploratory mission to Proxima Centauri b. On March 7, 2011, the construction of the Eudoxus drone swarm Footnote 2 The precursor to the current Magellan class, prior to the discovery of new anomalous technology, was completed and launched later that month towards Proxima Centauri b. Utilizing both standard and anomalous technology, the goal of the mission was to determine the cause of the nuclear energy burst. The drone swarm arrived at Proxima Centauri b on June 3, 2015, where it began to document and log its discoveries on the planet. Over the next few months, the drone swarm orbited the planet and began to collect atmospheric samples and conducted planetary surface exploration. Over the course of its exploration, the drone swarm discovered ruined cities all across the planet. After extensive exploration on the surface, the drone swarm found what appeared to be an archive in one of the more preserved ruins. After all of the archive's files were scanned and logged, it was immediately sent back to the Foundation on Earth. The Foundation received this data in 2019, and OSRA immediately commissioned the Foundation's Linguistics Department to aid in deciphering the language on the files. On May 11, 2021, OSRA was able to translate the Centauri language enough to an extent where a timeline of events leading up to the nuclear energy burst was able to be made. It is as follows. Time Footnote 3 Proxima Centauri b orbits its host star in approximately 11 Earth days. As such, time is converted to UTC. Day 1, 1207. Talks between the nations of Blackrock and Serene break down. Military readiness between the two was raised. Inferring from the documents recovered, these two nations have been at odds for approximately 5 Earth years. Day 1, 1310. Blackrock launches an invasion of Serene. The military of Serene was prepared and began counterattacks. Within hours, the Blackrock offensive reaches a stalemate. Day 1, 1825. Blackrock begins losing its positions in Serene. However, their warriors are told to hold. The Blackrock Uruk Shaluko. Footnote 4. 
Exact translation could not be determined, but is assumed to either mean general or president. Is debriefed on the situation. Day 1, 1850. BlackRock begins deploying tactical missiles to the front line. Spies within BlackRock inform Serene of this development and they respond in kind. At this point, large-scale aerial battles are taking place above the front. Day 1, 2012 through 2018. First tactical missiles are launched from BlackRock towards strategic Serene positions. Nearby cities are now beginning evacuation as more are deployed to the front line. Day 1, 2015 through 2021. Serene responds in kind and begins launching tactical missiles at Black Rock positions. Some missiles overshoot their targets, with some hitting civilian infrastructure. Day 1, 2025. Black Rock retaliates by launching tactical missiles at Serene civilian targets. A number of both civilian and military targets are destroyed by this point. Day 1, 2031 through 2033. Both nations activate their nuclear arsenals in the event the other launches their own. According to the documents, BlackRock and Serene were the two largest and most powerful nations on Proxima Centauri B. Their combined nuclear warheads numbered roughly 9,000. Day 1, 2054. Serene launches another wave of tactical missiles at BlackRock military installations. BlackRock launches three nuclear missiles in response. The exact reason why could not be determined, however, it is assumed that this may have been due to a false positive. Day 1, 2056 through 2103. After minutes of deliberating, Serene launches its own nuclear missiles in response. Day 2, 2106. BlackRock further retaliates and launches more of its nuclear arsenal, some towards civilian targets. Serene declares a state of emergency. Day 2, 2111. Serene responds by sending multiple nuclear missiles into the largest cities within BlackRock. In response, BlackRock does the same. By this point, the main front line has died down, with only sporadic fighting continuing. Day 2, 2120. Multiple cities are reported to have been leveled by BlackRock nuclear missiles. The final transmission from Serene's military headquarters is received. Day 2, 2318. By this point, the majority of Serene's nuclear arsenal has been deployed, targeting BlackRock installations around Proxima Centauri B. BlackRock responded in kind. The last transmission from any major Serene military facility is also received. Day 3, 145. The last of Serene's nuclear weapons are launched with an unknown target. It is assumed by this point most life on Proxima Centauri B has died out, as this is the last event recorded. In September and November of 2014, while the Eudoxus drone swarm was en route to Proxima Centauri B, FSO Skylax observed two further nuclear energy bursts coming from the Ross-128 and the Luden star systems. Osro was able to determine that, once again, the origin of the energy bursts came from exoplanets within their respective star systems. Due to the similarities between Anomalous Event 13020 and these events, Osra was approved to construct two further drone swarms to explore these star systems. Discoveries in 2015 and 2016 in Anomalous Technology allowed Osra to construct drone swarms that could arrive at Ross 128 and Luden Star within five years. Footnote 5. This is done utilizing the gravitational anomalies found by Osra during... near Uranus. Both of these drone swarms, referred to as the first and second Magellan drone swarms, were launched on July 23, 2017. Between 2017 and 2019, the FSO Skylax and later the FSO Herodotus. Footnote 6. A Foundation Space Observatory launched in late 2018 with the purpose of fulfilling Skylax's role, which was to be phased out in 2020, but now both observatories operate in tandem to find further SCP-7050-1 instances. Discovered three further nuclear energy bursts. Three further drone swarms were constructed, and in March 2019, October 2019, and August 2020, each were respectively launched in the direction of these star systems. Shortly after the timeline of events on Proxima Centauri B was established, on June 25, 2021, data from the first Magellan drone swarm was received. Its target exoplanet, Ross 128b, showed similar features on its surface compared to Proxima Centauri B. Once again, files transcribed in an extraterrestrial language were sent along with the planetary data. 
As Foundation linguists and Osra were deciphering the Rossi language, data from the second Magellan drone swarm in Luden B was received. As with the previous two, further files were sent for Osra to decrypt. Addendum 2 Report Summary On December 5, 2023, Osra submitted its report to the O5 Council. The report, written by the head of Osra, details their findings on Ross 128B and Luden B. The relevant section of the report relating to SCP-7050 is as follows. Based on our findings in Ross 128B and Luden B, as well as preliminary data received from the 3rd through 5th Magellan drone swarms, the Anomalous Aeronautical and Space Research Association has come to the conclusion that all of these events were caused by large-scale nuclear weapons exchange resulting in the host civilization's utter annihilation. A further two nuclear energy burst events have been detected since 2021, and although observations have yet to be conducted, it is likely that these events were caused by similar circumstances related to the previous five. The exact cause and reason do vary between cases, such as the result of a conflict escalation or false positive readings, but the end result is always the same. Due to these findings, it is in our opinion that humanity may be an outlier. All files recovered on these exoplanets do not indicate that there were prior crises or close calls before the nuclear weapons exchange, henceforth designated as a York incident. In contrast, humanity has had multiple incidents, crises, and close calls, but never has it resulted in a nuclear war. Because of this, Osra has come to the conclusion that human civilization is an anomaly in the universal norm. Given previous incidents and current crises, we recommend that the Foundation begins cooperating with intergovernmental and governmental organizations for the purpose of preserving human civilization. However, we also recommend that full cooperation be held off until further data can be collected from more sources. Humanity may or may not stand alone, but it is our responsibility to tirelessly ensure that we wake up to another tomorrow to discover if we truly are. We shall venture forth into the light to discover if we truly are alone in the dark. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Lesby Friends, Alexis the Great, Everborn, Joe Light, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.